Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. You have read the title of this video correctly. I am finally getting around starting my decluttering series. I've been saying it to you guys for so long now. I've been saying it to myself and I figured if I don't start now, I never will. Uh, so we're getting started. Like this video might be a bit of a mess. I don't know what format I'm gonna be like doing this in. If you guys want me to do it in like more of a long form video, shorter, like whatever, let me know what you guys want because there's gonna be a bunch of these decluttering videos coming soon because we have got a lot to go through. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of like the video that I do today. I'm just gonna freestyle it and just kind of declutter stuff. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this for a really long time now. I've had every intention to do it, but to be honest, I, <laughs> there's a lot to do. I've been putting it off because that's kind of what I do best. Uh, but first of all today I'm going to start off with I think primer and foundation and just maybe work my way down depending on how long this takes. As you can see I have my plastic box up here which I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about in a second. I even have labels. I use the new Cricut Joy machine and I've made my own labels. I'll talk to you guys again about that in a second as we sort of go along with everything. But yeah, I am ready to go on a full on cull. I'm ready to get rid of so much stuff because I have a lot of makeup. I review a lot of makeup. I buy a lot of makeup. Makeup. I get sent a lot of makeup, like insert other typical YouTuber disclaimers, um, but no one needs this much makeup. No one. I don't care if you're like Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, I don't care if you're Pat McGrath. No one needs this much makeup, especially not little old me with my little old face. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get rid of as much as I can today. I'm gonna be as brutal as I can be. Uh, I'm still gonna be keeping a lot of products because again, I do do a lot of like side by side comparison videos. So I might keep something that's like a dupe for a high end product or whatever. So I am still gonna keep a lot but I'm gonna really try and condense it down. Like if things are discontinued, unless they're my favorites, I'm gonna get rid of them. If the products are too old, I'm getting rid of them. And by getting rid of them, this is why I have this box here because I'm basically gonna shove everything into this box that I'm not gonna be keeping. And by not keeping, I mean either it's gonna be going to friends and family if they're like lightly used. It's gonna be either getting thrown away if it's like really old and you know, I can't recycle it or something. Or a lot of things that I'm gonna be getting rid of, I'm gonna be taking to those like recycling bins that you can get in like boots and super drug or whatever and then some other things if they're like brand new I'm gonna make sure that I put them in a giveaway or whatever in fact whilst we're on the topic of giving things away I always get questions from you guys about what I do with my second hand makeup and that just tends to go to like friends and family they get the crusty dusty stuff used by me I much prefer to give you guys like the brand new products so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna be getting rid of a bunch of stuff in whatever shape or form but I also want to give away to you guys as well so let's use the hashtag Steph gimme gimme why not? So if you want to enter, then just include that hashtag in your comment down below. I'll put all of the details and everything in the description box. I know half of you won't look at it. I know it's boring, but I'll put them there anyway, just to like cover my ass. But yeah, basically leave a comment, include that hashtag. Try not to comment more than once because YouTube might think it's spam and might like hide it from me. Um, but yeah, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things, that would be great. But otherwise, just leave some sort of comment with the hashtag and you'll automatically be entered. I'll do it like international and everything like that. Um, and I'll send you a big box of makeup if you win. Cause like, it's all one good watching me get rid of stuff, but like, you guys need something too. So yeah, surprise giveaway. See, I don't really know how I'm gonna go about this. I think I'm literally just gonna like, show you guys what's in the drawer and then organize it. And I think what I'm gonna do just to like save some time to make things a little bit easier, anything that I plan on getting rid of, whether it's like giveaway or like giving to my friends or just like recycling or some things I probably will have to chuck away, I'm gonna put it in that box and then I'll sort it out after. Uh, so yeah, everything that's going is gonna go in there and then I can hopefully just tidy this up. I literally just realized I have, a, I have another box of foundations just like chilling up there because literally everything is overflowing. So I need to make sure I put that in there in a second as well. But um, yeah, let's get started. I'm genuinely like, this is daunting. This is very daunting. Okay, go on then. I'll, sh I'll show you the mess inside here. The only way I feel like I'm gonna be able to do this is if I like stand on my office chair. I think I'm just gonna have to crouch like, I'm gonna have to like fully initiate shrimp mode right now because there's no other way of doing this. So yeah, this is my primer and foundation drawer. I'll include a cutaway so you guys can like fully see what's going on here. Cause it's actually, I worry about this drawer and like the hinges and stuff because it's just so full. Like it's actually 
a mess. Honestly, I'm not even saying it to be like, oh my God, I have so much makeup. This is, my hair's attached to everything. This is not good. This is like genuinely a little bit embarrassing. But yeah, okay, I just need to make a dent in this. No, I need to add my labels. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna move the camera angle again. Okay, before you guys say anything, hear me out here. I did not think I would like a crafting product as much as this, genuinely. I know you see the ad popping up on screen now, but I genuinely like this thing more than I kind of care to admit. I've basically been making labels for everything. Things that don't even need labels, they now have labels because I've been making them. Basically, the Cricut Joy Machine allows you to make kind of anything to be honest. Well, anything within reason, like vinyl stickers, transfers, uh, you can make like cards with like cutouts, there's loads of different things like that. And it takes like minutes from like start to finish. It literally takes minutes. You can do like just about everything in under 15 minutes. But the things that I've been doing literally take me like two minutes to do. It's the most satisfying thing if you have like a short attention span like I do and you wanna make something, you wanna personalize it yourself. This, honestly, I don't wanna like shove it in your face too much because I'm like, I know, I know it's not exactly like a lipstick or like a foundation or something, but really, really like this thing. So basically I'm just gonna show you guys a little cutaway of how I made my little labels. Honestly, it's so quick and easy to do, but once it's done, you feel like a crafting badass. Like you literally feel like you've been on like an episode of Art Attack or something. You can pretty much use any design. You can choose pre-made designs. You can choose different like lettering, fonts, text, labels, whatever. Or you can even upload your own designs from like Photoshop or whatever. You just select whatever design you wanna use and arrange them however you want. And then all you do is you will press go and the machine literally tells you what to do. Like the app will just tell you exactly what steps you need to do. You then just put the vinyl in, in my case, so you put the vinyl in, you literally then just press go and it will cut everything out for you. Like it literally does it in seconds. It honestly, like I've used it so many times and I'm still not over it. I just sit and watch it like, Technology is great. You peel away the sheet and then if you need to pick up any little extra details then you can using the little picker tool. And then for the designs that I use, they're a little bit more intricate than just like, I don't know, like a standard square or something. So basically what I did as well is I used the transfer tape which picks up everything and you can essentially just pick up the sticker and then stick it down where you need it. And it's so, so handy. Honestly, like I said, I literally have labels on everything now. I've just ordered some containers for my fridge, some containers for like my coffee, sugar, and like tea and stuff like that, because I just want to label everything. Like, I, I just want to label everything. I know it's a little bit of a random one for me to talk about, but I even had a little epiphany the other day, because you can use this to make stencils for your makeup. Like, you know how I did the Valentine's Day heart stencils the other day? I should have used this. I should have used the Cricut machine. I could so easily have cut out those little hearts, used them as a stencil, and it would have saved me so much time. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that. But yeah, I thought I would mention it to you guys because number one, I've honestly been like loving it. And then number two, I know a lot of you guys have your own small businesses. So maybe you could like make your own stickers or whatever with that. Or number three, like I said, could make a really good makeup stencil makeup thing. They don't advertise themselves as that, but I feel like that could really work. I'm gonna do that soon, honestly. But yeah, guys, if you wanna check out the Cricut Joy for yourself or any of the other products that they do, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, let's put the label on now. I feel like this is where we're gonna like start everything off, okay? Just a little bit of glass spray. Can you see that? Maybe. I know it's a little bit difficult because it's all white, but just here, I've got the little bottle. Yes, okay. Genuinely waited so long to do this. Okay, so this is it. You can see it's like a little bottle and I'm gonna put it here. Does that look right? Yeah. <sighs> oh my God, I love it. I'm waiting, I'm... I don't know if I should be this excited about this, but I genuinely am. So yeah, like I said, if you guys want to check out the Cricut Joy, if you want to make some lovely stickers like I just did, uh, then I'll leave the link down below alongside everything else. Um, okay, let's get back up on my computer chair and sort this out. Okay, time to organize. Pray for my knees, because I'm going to be crouching for as long as I need to. Um, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to do this with any kind of order. I'm just going to pick and choose as we go along. Lacura Primer. This is the Radiance one. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, okay, Too Faced one, that is staying. I'm gonna put some of them on the side as well. The uh, Oil Control Priming Mist, that's a maybe. Um, we have so many things. Yeah, that's new, okay, keeping that, honestly. How am I even gonna sort through all of this? This is the AOA Primer, no, that can go. I then have two 
Maybe I even have more of these, the Rimmel primers. I'm gonna get rid of the red one because I love the blue one. What have we even got here? Hard candy color corrector. I've had this since I worked with Fragrance Direct. Uh, and I did that kind of before I actually even started YouTube, I think. So this is so old. I'm pretty sure that's how long I've had it, so that can go. Models in face space. That is discontinued, I believe. Um, Revolution Star Primer. It smells like aniseed. My back is already hurting. Uh, the Tatcha Primer, you guys know I love that stuff. Elf Primer I love. Ofra Primer. This is Rodeo Drive. Yeah, not really sure how I feel about that. We'll see how much room I have at the end because I do really, really rate that product. Lacura BB Cream I liked. Um, I'm just gonna have to go dig in. Technic face oil, oh my god, there's so many things in here that I actually just really liked. That can go. I've got a bunch of these NYX foundation mixers. I rate these so hard, but I've had these for so, so long. Um, and there's a bunch of other brands that do them. I don't even think NYX do them anymore, so I'm gonna say goodbye to them, at least in some shape or form. Honestly, this feels so satisfying. Uh, that can go. This, I've like, I've been needing to do this for so long. I can't even tell you. Uh, Nipper Fab Drops, they can go. Nipper Fab Primer. I've had this since maybe the start of my channel. However long that's been. I don't even know how long that's been now, but uh, yeah, you're old. Like, I don't mind keeping some old products. I'm not too funny about it, but some of these, like, they are just ridiculous. Um, highlighters, color correctors. Honestly, this feels so... Why have I not done this sooner? Why? I know I know this is like a total mess even still, but um, yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Huda Beauty, keeping that. The Priming Water, uh, Max Dread Cream. That's actually fairly new, so I'll keep that one. All Hours by YSL. Revolution, honestly, I have so many products, and I swear they're all the same. Whoa, the Floor Mar. This isn't even that old. Can you guys see that? Look at that, look at the separation there. I mean, I actually think I really like that, but the separation is not making me feel too great. Another Lacura primer. I'm keeping that other one because I know it's a dupe for something else, so I am keeping that, but the other ones can go. I think I've had this again since the start of YouTube, pretty much. The Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I think I have. I, I wasn't really expecting to get rid of much, but I'm already making a huge dent. Body collection, I like that. There's like a bunch of these that I really like. Um, the La Masca primer. The Beauty Crop Cocoa Glow one. I, if I remember correctly, I wasn't keen on that. I then have so many of these Urban Decay V6 sprays. So again, like, let me see which one's like the most full. Cause I don't, I like this, but I don't tend to use it very often. Um, is this all the same? Hydro Charge, Complexion Prep, Vitamin Fuse. Okay, so these two are different. So I'll get rid of one of the B6s and keep one of them. Cause I do like it. I just don't really use it. Can you tell how much fun I'm having? This is old packaging, so I'm going to pass that on. I then have so many different primers from NYX. Rimmel Matte Primer, Angel Veil. Do NYX even still do the Angel Veil? I'm not even sure. I don't think they do. This brings back memories. The Lossy London Before Anything Else Primer. One of my favourite primers when I first started doing YouTube and just makeup in general. This is so old. I don't even know if they still do it, but I really, really liked that. Got a little mini from Bare Minerals Prime Time that can go. I can get rid of a lot of minis because I do have a lot of them down here anyway. This is old. This is like NYX Face Awards kind of old. I remember my old office when I had this. That's got to go. Got a little marshmallow primer, but I think I have. I think I have a bigger one somewhere. Yeah, I've got the big one. So. I mean, that's it's quite empty anyway. I'll see how much is sort of left in that. Uh, AOA, that can go as well. This one from Flower. I liked that one. The Pro Base I like. Uh, L'Oreal Infallible, I actually really like that as well. Oh my God. The Neod, see, I forgot I had even half of these products. The uh, Photography Fluid. This stuff's so good. Do you guys remember Bleach London? <laughs> oh my God. What has actually happened here? Like, look. Like, are you, are you good? This one can go. This is, can you hear this? Like that's like, a, it's gone like solid. Okay, interesting. I don't even know if they still do this, the Urban Decay Drop Shot. If I don't know if they still do it, they probably don't. 
spectrum. Okay, this is the Skin Liar Primer from Lisa Becker. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really use this. I have had this for quite a while, so that'll go as well. Where does this lid come from? This one from Elf can go. These rodeo drops, I'm gonna keep it for a video in case I wanna do a video of like things I didn't really rate because I wasn't really, wasn't really too fussed by them. This is already so much better. Where has this lid come from as well? Where are all these lids coming from? I need like a little pile for my lids. Oh, the Iconic London Radiance Booster. Charlotte Tilbury is a yes. I really rate Becca's a brand, but obviously they're like kind of no more. I think Smashbox have like taken them on or something, um, but I don't need that. I like the other one more. I feel like we're almost there with the primes, you know? Do you know what? I've wanted to use this. I don't even think I've ever used this. If I have, I used it once. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I have used it a couple of times. It looks like a really nice, maybe I haven't used it. Oh my God. Lid went all over the glass. It's fine. Foundation primer, Radiance with Hyaluronic Acid. This is old. Again, don't even know if they still do this, but like, I really wanted to use it. I just don't know why I never did. I've got this box as well. Is this just foundations? Yeah, this is just foundations. I'm almost kind of there with the primers, you know. What VB creams have I got? I've got this one from Lacura. And keep that one from Rimmel. Yeah, I've got like some BB and some CC creams. The You Better Work one, uh, I think that was the one that I really liked from Essence. Got a colour corrector from Pixie. So old. I'm gonna keep the... Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Makeup Forever colour corrector. Just because it might be handy for the... No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like trying to talk myself into things. I need to get rid of everything. Nope. The lo I lost this. It was right here. I couldn't find it for ages. The L'Oreal Skin Paradise, uh, what's it even called? Tinted Water Cream. Really, really rate this stuff. So I've got like a little bit at the back here where I put like BB creams and tinted moisturizers and stuff. Cause obviously we know I don't tend to reach them that often. But, you know, if, if the, the moment strikes me, I've got multiple um, Laura Mercier ones. So I've got another one here, keeping one neutral, one warm and then the illuminating one. Again, another one I've had for so long from the balm, it's the Time Balm. Uh, the Healthy Glow Summer Tint Moisturizer from Charlotte Tilbury, that can stay. Have I ever used the Face Finishing Moisturizer Tint? No, don't think I have, but I, I know my friend really likes, um, what's the brand even called, I've forgotten. Uh, Pericon MD, I know my friend really, really likes their stuff, so I'll pass it on to her. I genuinely cannot believe how much stuff I'm getting rid of. I've got these um, inserts, I'll show you guys in a second once you can actually see them. But I'm gonna put all of my like tinted moisturizers and stuff at the back. And again, I am gonna sort them out properly in a minute. I just wanna make sure that everything can kind of fit. Yeah, okay, so now I know that a bunch of stuff, ooh, didn't see you there, the George one. They no longer sell this. I like the primer, but um, yeah, they no longer sell it. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with all the primers and stuff that I have right now. Again, like I said, I will organize this a little bit better in a minute. Uh, let's switch up the camera angle so you guys can let me know whether you prefer like this sort of camera angle or more of like a point of view one. So I'm gonna like, I don't know, I'm gonna do like a little bit more of a close up. Oh, ah. All right, okay, let me know what you guys prefer. Like, do you prefer this angle or the other one or like a mixture of both? So yeah, this is still what we have to deal with with the foundation side of things. Again, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna pick at things, I think. Let's start from the back. Um, okay, Fenty, keeping that. I'm gonna just like shove all the things I'm keeping into this pile over here. Um, that can probably go, not because I don't like it, but because like, I don't think they, if they do stock it, I much prefer the uh, like stick that they do and the one in the big square bottle, which I do have around here somewhere. Okay, I've got a few of these. I don't tend to use these. Like I would like to keep it because I think I like this foundation, but I don't, yeah, I, I remember I did really like this foundation, but I don't need, I've got three of them. Okay, that one's completely untouched so we can pass that one on. The problem with Kiko though, I love so many of their products, but they just have so many different collections, which is great, but I never know, like, I never know what's actually still in stock. The NARS um, Tinted Moisturizer, that can stay. I've got a bunch of these from Ciate. Again, I I never use this. I like, I keep a bunch of these shades. I'm gonna keep number 30, and 
uh, skin tint that can go in the tinted moisturizers. CYO, no longer with us, goodbye. This is old, dude, oh my God, this is so old. Yeah, okay, shame to see it go because it's a full thing of MAC, but that has got to go somewhere. Yeah, this is the Primark foundation I meant, uh, keeping that. I've got a bunch of these. I've got golden beige, two golden beige. Uh, yeah, okay, that's brand new. That can go to someone. I'll keep one of these because I do really like this stuff. Again, do they still stock this? I don't even know, dude. Yeah, we'll just keep that one. What's this? Technic Pro Glow. Yeah, I rate that. The problem is, is I rate so many of these foundations. That one can go from Primark because I think that one's dead. This is a little bit too light for me. Oh my God, the Lottie London Selfie Ready. That can go, that is really old. Um, that one can go. This is pretty much dead. I like this foundation, but it's almost gone, so I'll get rid of that. Ooh, an earring. Like, I need to go through all my earrings and stuff as well, because when have I ever worn that? Ooh, that's like a brand new one. I like this product, but I don't use tinted moisturizers enough to have like two of them. So yeah, I'll get rid of that and give it to a friend. Milani 2-in-1, you know how I feel about that. Let's not even, let's not even pretend that I don't love it. Um, Lacura Illusion Touch stuff that's supposed to be like a dupe for this foundation, which, okay, I'm about to blow your minds. This foundation, again, I don't know if they still do it. This retailed when I had it for, I think it was like 150 pounds. I luckily did not pay for it, but it wasn't even that good, man. So I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe like someone will want it. And that was a dupe for it. So I will get rid of that as well. This feels so freaking good. You honestly have no idea. Asta, honestly, the George makeup products were actually really, really good. Okay, we're now getting to foundation sticks. The new sticks foundation, I wasn't, I wasn't keen on, but I might, I know it sounds mad, but I might keep it. Come on, what's old? That's old, that can go. We have not one, not two, but three of the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I'm gonna keep the color that I've opened and the other ones will go somewhere else. Oh, the Zoeva one, I actually did quite like. That is too orange for me even with my tan. Stay Naked Foundations, Villa Masca again. Oh my God, these from Urban Decay. What a throwback. This foundation was sick. I'm keeping one, even if it's just so I like try it and then if I love it still, I might buy a new bottle. Huda Beauty Foundation, I love. YSL Foundation, I love. AVH Foundation, I love. Ugh, gloopy. You can go. Oh my God, throwback. This is so old, it's ridiculous. The one, two, three, perfect. Who remembers when I used to swear by this stuff? Honestly, love that stuff, but it's, again, way too old. What I'm probably gonna do with some of these products as well is put them aside for like one final goodbye, like trying out really, really old products. Laura Mercier, uh, that is very, very old as well. Oh my God, the Cogendo Foundation, damn. That's also really old. This ain't looking too hot right now, is it? Again, I think I like this, but it's not looking too fabulous. I would love it if I can actually like put all of my concealers in here as well, because I don't know if you can see, if I like tilt you a little bit that way, I've got all of my concealers right here, and I feel like if I condense them, I could probably fit all of that into one drawer, which would make me very, very happy. This foundation, I really, really like to be fair. <gasps> Beauty pie. Great foundation, so old though. I want to do another updated Beauty Pie video though, so I will probably pick up another one of those because their stuff was really good. What have we got? The Rodeal Skin Tint. Um, this is old. I'm like I'm looking at it because it's like an expensive product. I don't even use skin tints that often, but that is very very old. Okay, I feel like. I might be able to condense everything down with my concealers and stuff. Okay, I've got a bunch of these sticks. For the beauty I love, Revolution Fast Base, MUA Pro Base, I really didn't like, but I, I'll keep it for like a potential video where I didn't like stuff. These foundation sticks, they no longer actually do, which is a bummer. I'm gonna keep, uh, there's one color that used to fit me quite well. This again is really, really old. So might put that in an oldies video. And then I've got the Model Zone sticks, which I used to really, really like, but I don't think they do anymore. This lid is annoying me because I have no idea where it's come from. And I really need to find out. 
What else have I got? I've got the Tarte foundation stick, this YSL one, and then this ABH one. Okay, now I feel like, wait, no, I've got this big box, haven't I? Uh, got another Laura Mercier one. Don't need that, it's in the same color. Huda Beauty foundation, that's like the Demi Matte one. I like that. What was this? The Lottie London Skin Tint, which I actually rated. Okay, this foundation, yes. This one's too orange for me. Body collection. That one. And another Huda Beauty foundation. Again, really, really like that stuff. The Rodeo foundation, which I liked. Even though they don't do it anymore, I'm still going to keep it. Il Maquillage. Fenty. Uh, this looks... This looks quite orange for me right now. Um, which colour's better? Okay, that's way too light. But wait, did I mix the two? I think I might have mixed the two. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm going to keep both of those because I like that foundation, but yeah, I need to mix it. This, I'm going to double check on the colour because I love this foundation so much. I've got it downstairs. Um, so yeah, I really, really love that, but I'll I'll see if that's like a right colour for me. Yeah, so now I'm going to try and organise things a little bit better. And if I have time, I will do concealers. If not, I'll do it in the next one, but let's see how quickly I can whiz through everything. What a absolute sight to behold. I have space. I actually have space. I actually have space. A lot of space. Okay, I'm moving this around. Once again, sorry for the weird angle. But yeah, basically, I got a bunch of these off of Yes Style ages ago, and they're so handy. So as you can see, you can either have them without anything in, or you can put little like inserts, which I have. I have one here. Like, they're really easy. They're not, like, super sturdy, but they do the job. But, yeah, in this drawer over here, I'll at least make, like, a start on this. Okay, yeah, so here are just some of the concealers that I have. And, again, I'm going to put them in the same box. Let's just see what we can do. I can see I've got a lot of these HMB concealers, which I really like. But I do not need this many colours. I, I just simply do not. Uh, that one looks good. That one looks too dark. That one looks too light. And then I'll keep like one other. Let's keep like two. Got a bunch of these Fenty ones. 219, 280. They can stay. This MAC one looks a bit dead. Bourgeois, gone. This, <laughs> this looks like it's seen better days. A little bit of Fenty. This is orange and very, very old. And again, doing the same sort of thing. I'm just going to whiz through a bunch of stuff. The Pat McGrath one, keeping that, costs me like a mortgage. Mac 24 hour. That looks gross, but it's actually not that old. Got another one of these, the Instant Adri Wine. That one looks a little bit lighter than the other one, so I'll pass that on. I love that stuff, but I don't use it enough to warrant having like a bunch of backups. This doesn't look like my colour. Oh my god, was this the... Uh, okay, I remember this one. This was like... AOA, I think. I've got quite a few of these iconic London concealers as well, which I do really like. Uh, this one's in Fair Nude, though. It's a bit too light for me, but I do really like that um, concealer. Tarte Shape Tape, my fave. Okay, right, let's try and get a bit of order in this bit. I need reinforcements. Another brand new one. Yes, I've got literally like the tiniest amount left of my Bye Bye Under Eye. L'Oreal Infallible is really, really good. That is too fair. That is brand new. That was good. Oh, another one of these. Okay, that is way too light for me. Sleek Life Proof wasn't too keen on that, and that one's brand new. I've got a few of these. Uh, you've been used and you've been used. I might keep one just in case. This, loved it. Great dupe for Bye Bye and Dry, but it's discontinued. NARS, that was actually one of the only stick concealers I actually like. This was like what everyone used to use back in the day, but it, I'm not keen on it. <laughs> Nip and Fab, got this Marc Jacobs stick, which don't mind. Yeah, Born to Glow, that's a good one. Ooh, I remember that. That is quite old though. You know what, I don't even know what this is to be honest. I feel, I feel like that's maybe Colourpop, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna keep that. Get over yourself, Steph.
And then back here, you guys can see the teeny tiny little gap. I do actually have some like pot concealers as well, which I don't tend to use too often, but they are still handy to have. I've got the Glossier one. Oh, got another little Rogue Bounce um, foundation. Oh my God. Yes. Too Faced Born This Way. Oh, Lush Foundation Stick. Uh, okay, let's move that over there. And I think that's mostly it. I've got another one of the um, Amy Connolly, which I don't need another one of those, even though I like it. I've got a Fenty Stick, which I will keep. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of it for like all of my base products. Okay, I'm actually, I need to give you like a little overview. Guys, we did it. We, we tidied one whole drawer and it took me, it took me hours. I don't know how long this video is gonna be by the time I've edited it. Um, but yeah, this one drawer took like three, almost four hours. Uh, how, I literally need to have like a week off just to like organize all of this, but I am so buzzing that I managed to like downsize so much. Like, okay, I'm, I might have to do a cutaway because I physically struggled to lift this a second ago. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I've got hair on my face. <laughs> Um, I've managed to get rid of this much. Like that actually might be more than what's currently in that drawer. This is so heavy. So like I said, by getting rid of, I mean, a lot of that is gonna be going to friends. Some of the products that are just dead, I'm gonna try and recycle as many of them as I can. And then obviously some of the new products are gonna go into my cupboard and I'll be doing a giveaway in this video. So make sure you use the little um, hashtag. Well, what did I say it was? Steph gimme gimme, whatever I said it was, I'll put it on screen now, make sure you use that hashtag and if you leave a comment, I will then just automatically enter you guys into the giveaway. I'm, I'm so happy with how this looks. <laughs> I feel like for like three, three and a half hours, it doesn't look that much different, but to me it really, really does and obviously my little label. I cannot wait to put the rest of these on there. I have a little like powder one for here. And then by the time I've organized all of that, I've got like a little mascara one, lip gloss ones. I've got so many little like labels. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow, my little pots for my coffee, tea and sugar and everything will arrive and I can put labels on them as well. Anyway guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoy this sort of video, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time as always. And also once again, if you do want to check out this wonderful little machine, the Cricut Joy, then make sure you check out the link down below, honestly. Way too obsessed with this. Have you ever seen anyone that excited over a little sticker? I don't think so. Genuine joy there. Joy! Cricket Joy. Anyway, if you guys do want to check it out, link down below as always. Like I would say I would link all the other products, but I would be here for years. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Part two coming soonish. Definitely not in like two years, like from the last time I said I would do this, but soon, okay? I need a day off, because this took a long time, but coming soon, okay? So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna go edit this thing now, okay? I love you, bye.